Hello, welcome to Apple Insights. Before I start the video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. The iPhone SE series is Apple's entry-level smartphone lineup. The last addition to the latter came as recently as last year in the form of the iPhone SE 3, but there are already lots of rumors that a successor is in the works. However, it should be noted that unlike the standard iPhone, the SE lineup is not updated annually. Hence, the iPhone SE 4 could be quite far off Let's be straightforward about it. Apple's strategy for the iPhone SE 4 launch seems to be shrouded in mystery. The iPhone SE follows a significantly more haphazard release schedule than the standard iPhones. Also, since there have only been three entries thus far, pinpointing a distinct pattern is quite challenging. In light of past release dates, we can see that the time gap between generations can be anywhere between two and four years. That being said, one thing we do know for certain is that the iPhone SE 4 will not debut alongside a standard iPhone lineup. Generally, Apple's budget smartphone is released in spring, at the company's first event for the year. Because most rumors point to a possible release within two years' time, our best estimate for an iPhone SE 4 announcement would be spring 2024. However, a recent leak claims that no iPhone SE models are currently part of Apple's new product planning for 2025, and a report from the Korean media outlet that supports the claim, saying that the production of the new iPhone SE would be pushed to 2025. The initial cost of the iPhone SE, and standard iPhones in general, has steadily increased over the years. Given this trend, we anticipate a similar scenario with the iPhone SE 4. Based on past numbers, users can expect a starting price of around $450-$500. Because the iPhone SE 4 will likely be introducing a number of substantial upgrades. An even higher price tag is very much possible. The camera module has never been a strong suit of the iPhone SE. Given its status as a budget option, one of the biggest compromises is usually in the form of a notably inferior camera. For the time being, there is no information on the camera specifications of the iPhone SE 4, but rumors suggest that it will have only one camera on the back, similar to other iPhone SE models. The newest rumors are getting people excited by hinting that the iPhone SE 4 might feature a solo 48MP rear camera, a major upgrade from the 12MP rear-facing camera in its previous model, but you should not be holding your breath. However, if the rumor turns out to be true, and the upcoming iPhone SE 4 features a 48MP camera, similar to the one found in the iPhone 15, it sure will pose a potential challenge to the Pixel 7a's claim as the best mid-range camera. Storage options are always a tricky subject when it comes to Apple. Given that the company's pro iPhones still have a measly base 128 GB of internal storage in 2023, it is likely that the entry-level configuration of the iPhone SE 4 will come with no more than half of that, i.e. 64 GB. Once again, given the fact that the device is in its very early stages of production, there is simply no concrete information at this time. This is where things start to become interesting. According to John Prosser, the next iPhone SE will be recycling the iPhone XR's design. This means that the iPhone SE 4 will be bigger and will come with a notch for the first time in the lineup's history. Given that the standard iPhones, both Pro and non-Pro versions, transitioned to the dynamic island design with the iPhone 15, the SE can now freely adopt the notch design, first introduced with the iPhone X. However, a more recent leak from Ming-Chi Kuo claims that the iPhone SE will have an even more modern look and will essentially be a minor modification of the 6.1-inch iPhone 14. Most recent rumors by tipster Redditor, aka Unknowns21 support the claim, saying that the iPhone SE 4 will be based on the iPhone 14. Once again, we will have to wait to see which iPhone Apple has chosen for inspiration. With the new design could also come a new screen size. According to Ross Young, a prominent display analyst, the iPhone SE 4 could sport a 6.1 display, similar to the one found on the iPhone XR. Additionally, a more recent report indicates that the iPhone SE could use the panel of the iPhone 13, which could make the former the first device in the lineup's history to feature an OLED screen. Most recent rumors also suggest that the iPhone SE 4 would come with an OLED screen. Regardless of which display technology Apple finally opts for, the iPhone SE 4 will almost certainly not be featuring promotion-adaptive 128Z refresh rate. 
The iPhone SE 4 is rumored to adopt the same battery as the base model iPhone 14, with leaked prototypes featuring lithium-ion batteries used in previous Apple models. Internal documents confirm this change, revealing an increased capacity from 2018 May in the iPhone SE 3 to 3279 May in the upcoming iPhone SE 4. This battery brings a substantial boost of over 1250 FAR compared to the third-gen iPhone SE, potentially delivering longer battery life. This move, using the same battery as ones found in older devices, aligns with Apple's pattern, as the second-gen iPhone SE also shared its battery with the older iPhone 8. Recent rumors suggest that the iPhone SE 4 will come with a USB-C port instead of the Lightning port. This change is more likely to happen than not, especially considering that the iPhone 15 series supports USB-C. The iPhone SE 4 could see the definitive end of the home button. This means that Apple might need to find a different way of implementing biometric authentication in its new budget smartphone. With the notch, Apple could also give the iPhone SE 4 Face ID, which is actually supported by the latest rumors. And not only, but also it is rumored that Apple would add an action button, which replaced the ring silent switch on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. There's also a big question mark over the chipset that will be powering the iPhone SE 4. The current iPhone SE at 22 features an A15 processor. If Apple wants to increase the raw performance of the SE, it will have to make the jump to A16, which is reportedly very costly, or an even newer SoC. Needless to say, things could change considerably before the release of the SE 4. Lastly, the iPhone SE will undoubtedly be running a future version of iOS, the latest being iOS 17.